America has the safest, most complex system in the world because of the work you all do and because of the standards we all hold ourselves to. We never settle, and when we see an issue, we move swiftly, and we find ways to move together. That's why we've asked everybody to come here today. And while the data are clear that U.S. aviation remains an exceptionally safe mode of travel, whether you compare it to other modes, whether you compare it to other places, or whether you compare it to other times in our own history, we take nothing for granted. And we are particularly concerned because we have seen an uptick in serious close calls that we must address together. Initial information suggests that more mistakes than usual are happening across the system, on runways, uh, at gates when planes are pushing back, in control towers, and on flight decks. So today is about the entire system, which means it's about all of us. This is a key priority for the FAA, for the entire department, and for the Biden-Harris administration. I know it is for everybody who is gathered here. And that's why we're not going to rest easy with past success. We're going to consistently look for ways to enhance safety, including efforts that we already have underway, like rolling out the ASDEX taxiway arrival prediction features, modernizing airport infrastructure, moving forward with airport safety management system rules and more. I don't need to tell anyone here why all of this matters so much. The compelling advocates of families like those who lost, lost loved ones in 2009 on Continental Flight 3407, in 2018 on Lion Air Flight 610, and 2019 on Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302 must remind us of what is at stake and continue to guide our critical safety mission. As we look at the recent incidents in the last year or so, and as NTSB and FAA continue to investigate, we can't wait for the next catastrophic event to seek the warning signs of today, fully determine the contributing factors and swiftly address them. We're staying vigilant because we know that as long as technology and people and society continue to change, which is to say, in perpetuity, we need our safety systems and our safety culture to evolve and adapt to those changes.